Does your computer utilize an Intel processor made within the last decade? Is your computer running a Windows, Linux, or Unix-based operating system? Then yes, yes, your computer will be affected by this Intel kernel security problem, which is probably going to drop performance on your system. This is a super frustrating story to start 2018 off on, especially as I'm running a Windows machine with an Intel chipset. To grossly oversimplify the problem, it was discovered that normal user level programs could see inside protected memory areas for your kernel. According to Wikipedia, the kernel is a computer program that is the core of a computer's operating system with complete control over everything in that system. Since it has access and control over everything on the system, it's kind of a big deal if other programs can peek inside parts of that software, which are supposed to be locked down. Of course, fixes are already underway. The Linux community has been jumping on this bug for those systems, and Windows insiders, people using preview builds of Microsoft's operating system, are already seeing patches. The major bummer is rooting information around Intel's security problem is going to cause significant lag on those systems. And we're not quite sure what the severity of this performance hit is going to be. Depending on the processor in your computer, early estimates are anywhere from 5% to 30% performance degradation. Knowing my luck with PC builds, pretty sure at what end of the spectrum I'm going to be. Yup, even you Mac users, you're not gonna get out of this without some kind of hit to your systems too. Pretty much the only group of modern computer users who are going to get out of this specific bug unscathed are those of you running computers using AMD chipsets, which just sort of reinforces why my next computer is gonna be a Threadripper build. The effects of this security problem are going to be widespread and very costly. Looking at one test case, Amazon. Their cloud storage is a major backbone of numerous services around the internet. And let's just assume they took a 15% hit, somewhere in the middle between, you know, the light estimate and the heavy estimate. Just the costs associated with that powering such a huge part of so much web traffic is kind of, uh, it's terrible. It's really bad. There's not much else we can do. We're all just waiting for these bug fixes and patches to roll out. And then we're all going to sit back and see what kind of performance hit we're really in store for. I'm not looking forward to editing and rendering 4K video on a machine that's been compromised to the tune of 30%. And hopefully Intel weighs in soon because a processor flaw of this magnitude, I smell some class action lawsuits on the horizon. Definitely not the note I wanted to start 2018 off on, but those of you who are looking at doing some kind of system refresh, you wanted to rebuild your gaming PC, your workstation, now would be a good time to start considering what parts are going to go into that new build. I'm just saying, AMD Ryzen. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of my cranky and ranty vlogs and tech commentary. And uh, you can catch me around the web as at some gadget guy. Give me a follow on the Twitters and the Instagrams. I will catch you all on the next video.